Well, Byron, yesterday you laughed at me because I said to you that they're going to hunt buffalo and you said no, I was being silly. But look where we are and look how we're sitting. So it was a bit of luck, obviously. I have no guarantee on any of these things. The only thing I do know about the Nkumas is if there is a buffalo anywhere within ear shot or scent shot, there is no way that they're not going to attempt to hunt buffalo. And it's the first herd of buffalo that we've seen on Juma in some time. And it's amazing that... We haven't had any sign of the Nkuma Pride for, well, it's like five days now, four or five days, and all of a sudden, first herd of buffalo and the Nkumas are back in with striking distance. What really is odd to me, though, is that they've left that carcass. I don't understand why they would have gone and drank and then come further north. They've almost headed away from the carcass rather than back towards it. I, even though there's a Birmingham boy there, they typically won't leave a carcass just for a Birmingham boy. The whole Pride normally sticks around. Unless they're a bit unsure about it, maybe Nsuku's been in a bad mood and came in like a house on fire and pushed them all off it and they've decided, well, they'll go back maybe later this afternoon once he's had his fill. I'm not quite sure, but it's just interesting that they have moved in this direction and headed a little bit further north of where the kill is itself. And you can see Amber Eyes is having a very good grooming session. So earlier we were talking about the cubs looking a bit dirty and this is now what's going to happen is they're all going to get groomed, they're going to get rid of all the blood and bits of stomach content and all the other stuff that they've gotten on themselves lick any wounds that they may have picked up hunting buffalo because buffalo hunting is not a game that is played easily and so you'll find there will be the odd little sort of puncture mark maybe if a horn got them and so they just get rid of all of those kind of things and empires you're going to roll over look at that and you can see one at the back is being groomed so it's definitely the younger female by the looks of it that's not here i think she must be with in Suku that side and I wonder if we're not going to find any of the other Birmingham boys coming in at some stage the noise of a buffalo being killed will often attract the others and you'll find them coming in and, and trying to wrestle in on that carcass and I wouldn't be surprised if tonight maybe Tinyo or Mfumo or one of them arrives back in this area here's one of the, the cubs it looks like the young male potentially you see it's getting a little thicker collar of fur around the chin area so I think it's the young male I'll have to have a look, but he's the only male within the cubs. The other five cubs are all females, and it looked like all five cubs were here. I mean, all six cubs are here, so that's good news as well. Always when the Nkumas go away, you kind of have to recount the cubs again just to make sure everybody's safe. Even though we decided the last time they're not really cubs anymore, we should start calling them sub-adults at some point. That They all are well and healthy. With so many male lines around and so many sort of movement of the Nkuma pride, it's often a bit of a worry when they head off into places that is extremes of their territory, so the extreme north in the Manuleti, kind of often wonder whether or not there's others that are around that potentially could hurt them. Now, Senzo, I'm going to move you slightly just so we can get a better angle on the cub being groomed. There's one of the other lionesses. So I just want to try and get into this position here because that will be better for cub being cleaned and it looks like the youngest cub with the amber eyes that's being groomed at the moment by mom so there we go look at that <laughs> isn't that a face of happiness it's like yes mom clean me i've eaten too much now you must clean me i'm too lazy to do it myself and there's like you see the eyes are much darker than the other cubs it's almost like amber eyes not as vivid as what amber eyes is kind of is but they still have that darker deeper color than what we see on the honey colored lionesses of the Nkumas and also on the other cubs, the most of the other cubs also have that honey colour like that lion is there. 